The Styx live album, Caught in the Act, was a contractual album that they released when the band broke up during the Killer Roy Was Here tour after that. My name is Sean Morrison. Everyone knows what happened when Killer Roy Was Here came out in 1983. Then as the young decided to go more in the um, Roy Opera direction, which was pissing the band off. The more and next you know the band broke up above before before they broke up a live album called Court in the Act Live was released which was on um, taking from um, several performances from the Singer Theater of New Orleans, Louisiana. You know, more of a greatest hits live record. You know, the, the DVD gave you more of the Kilroy was here tour because it um had more songs from Kilroy on it. The live record basically was more of a greatest hits live record as um certain songs from the um VHS than they were on the, the live record. Like Sweet Man and Blue was was on Courtney Axe, so was Babe, but on the VHS now released on DVD, they weren't. So it was more like um a filler to please A and M records. Not knocking um not knocking the live album at all, but you know, honestly, everybody got, got tired of Dennis the Young then. And then when Tommy Shaw came back in the band in 1996, when they reunited, obviously, same issues happened. Who wants to? No, no Sticks fan today wants to hear all these Barry Manilow set list. And honestly, when Dennis Young still was a member of Sticks, as you know, his tunes were more of the Barry Manilow pop stuff because he never really made anything that was a, a rocker song except for Edge of the Century where um he had sang that song um Not Dead Yet even though that was a remake from a local Chicago a local Chicago band but getting back to Court in the Act you know yes I did have the cassette when I was younger and I believe I did get the DVD later on did have the VHS but then I started getting into sticks so I heard the songs like Snow Blind obviously Rockin' a Paradise Cold War was on there with, with the guitar solo with Tommy Shaw ran the audience. Then them doing Heavy Metal Poison, and it was pretty cool. But, you know, band broke up. You know the reason why. And then Tommy Shaw and Dennis Young won solo, and so did James Young, and each had moderate, each had some success. But, you know, you know. How much more was the band going to take of Barry Manilow stuff? Dennis didn't want to replace Tommy. That was his that was his thing, and unfortunately that's what happened. You know, they replaced Tommy once in nineteen ninety, still got, got a gold album, but obviously Tommy Shore is the main reason why Sticks did not break up in nineteen seventy six. And obviously he's the most important part of Sticks with James J. Y. Young. That's a given fact, because James Young and Tommy Shaw always perform rock. And if they are doing any, Tommy Shaw does any ballad, he stays away from the, from the Barry Manilow stuff. I'm not counting what's on Killer Roy Was Here, though, but, you know, his other stuff is not on Barry Manilow. He did a great version of Ever Since the World Began on one of his solo albums. I do apologize if I went off on a tangent here, speaking of Courtney Act and then going into other stuff. Going back into Court in the Act, Don't Let It End was on was on both. Um, Fooling Yourself was on the live CD or cassette. It wasn't on the VHS. Heavy Metal Poison was the VHS, the DVD. And, of course, the DVD had um, some bonus stuff on there. I believe it was Heavy Metal Poisoning and, and the videos for Haven't We Been Here Before. And I believe Music Time was on there as well, the video. Haven't watched that in a while. If you're not subscribed to the Sean Morrison YouTube channel, please do so. Everyone else there that's been subscribed, I thank you very much for your continued love, honor, and support. I want to thank all the new subscribers that have joined the Sean Morrison YouTube channel. We're now over 840 um, 40 subscribers, and that's definitely a good thing. And um, if you do have a copy of the Courtney Act album, which was... I believe a top 30 album in the United States. I don't have the exact um, chart position. But if you do have a copy of Court in the Act and have listened to it, what's your favorite live track off of it? You know, 
was um was it a real live album? Some it's hard to tell with the with the with the with the CD version when Dennis Young's I possible Dennis Young did add some stuff in there, but who knows? As we know, Music Time, the only studio track on there, I've talked about that in the past, did hit the top 40 at, at number 40 on the Billboard Hot 100. Video was very cartoonish. Obviously, the idea of Dennis the Young, Tommy Shaw did not put his head in the um, in the food and, and shake his head and do the only came in at the end. I guess it was the best thing to do. But the other guys were in the band, which was, which was goofy. Maybe when I was younger, it was a little funny, but, you know, what can I tell you? So here we are with, with Six Courtney Act Live, a little longer video, but wanted um wanted to talk about it today, you know? What are your thoughts about Courtney Act Live, friends? I might have said it before. Leave your opinions here. The best songs you thought off of it. Either on the, the cassette or CD or the DVD VHS. Favorite song or songs off of it. Shame. Shame, shame.